Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about the counter propagation network. Okay, so here is the counter propagation network. So the explanation is in English as well as the Telugu. Okay, so CPN, counter propagation networks are multi layer network. So remember, counter propagation network is a multi layer. So CPN is a multi layer network. Based on combination of input, output, and clustering. So CPN nothing but it is having input, it is having output, it is also having clustering. So counter propagation network having three things. One is input layer, second one is output layer, and third one is clustering. So in the input, we are giving the input. Output it is, will be displayed the output. Clustering means it will be divide the data. Next point CPN is used for compressed data and pattern association. So it is used for compress the data as well as pattern association. CPN networks are proposed by Robert H. Nielsen in 1987 of HNC, INC. So CPN networks are under the proposed by the Robert H. Nielsen and a person 1987 law find out JSRO. So remember there are three things. Each network has two layers. Okay. So first layer that clusters input and output second layer to provide output values for each cluster. So first layer that cluster inputs. So first layer and in and inputs provide some second layer to provide the output values for each cluster. Okay. So first layer will provide the input. Second layer will provide the output. Third one is CPN is basically constructed from in star out star model. Very, very, very important point. Just remember counter propagation network and ID in star out star nunchi construct chayabad. Okay. So this is about this slide. So what is the conclusion of this slide? Counter propagation network is a multi-layer network. It is a combination of input output clustering as well as it is used for compressed data pattern association. Counter propagation proposed by Robert H. So first layer is input. Second layer is output and Counter propagation network is constructed from in star out star model. Let us see what is meant by in star, what is meant by out star. Ikada chura chimero in star out star. So in star corresponds to single input, out star produces a single. So bracket it is going to have also have multi dimensional. Now you see this is an example for in star. So there are x1, x2, x3, xn, w1, w2, w3, w. In star response to single input. So in star response to single input. So there is a x1, x2, x3, xn, w1, w2, w3, so on up to wn. These are called as weights. These are called as inputs. So it produces the output. This is called as in star. Then manamu in star antanamu. So in star epuguda single input matrame produce sundi. Two and a out star. Out star produces a multi dimensional as well as single. So output when stimulated with a binary value x. Binary value x. So you can observe the difference between in star and out star. So this is called as in star and out star. So x is associated with w1, w2, so on up to wn. So there is a formula for in star as well as Outstar. Okay, so the formula for instar learning rule delta w is equal to alpha into x minus w d. Outstar means learning rule delta w d into d minus w. So d nothing but here desired value. D nothing but desired value. The connection between input and competitive layer are called instar structure. The connection existing between competitive layer and output layer are called as outstar structure. So, instar and it is a connection between input layer as well as 
competitive layer. But if you see the outstar layer, the connection existing between competitive layer and output layer are called outstar structure. Let us move on to types of CPN. Very, very, very important. Full CPN, forward only CPN. So counter propagation lo manu two types unayandi. Full CPN as well as forward only CPN. So what is my full CPN? Full counter propagation network. It is used to develop to provide an efficient method for large number of vectors x, east, y by adaptively constructing a lookup table. So full CPN works best if the inverse function exists and it is continuous. So it produces an approximate of x star east y star based on input of x vector or input of a vector or input of x pair y. Now you can see what is meant by this full CPN. It is used to develop efficient method of large number of vectors. Okay. So when it is when there is a large number of vectors, we will use this for full counter propagation network. Chuandi, full counter propagation networks best if the inverse function exists and it is continuous. So remember, full function uh, continuous propagation network is used when there is an inverse function exist. When there is an inverse function exist, will use this full counter propagation and also continuous. The wireless must be continuous in full propagation, full counter propagation. So now you see it produces x star y star based on input of x vector or input of y vector. So this is called as x is to y. In the first phase, the training vector pairs are used to form clusters either dot product or euclidean distance. If dot product dot matrix used, normalization is must. So in the first phase, what we are doing? We are doing training vector pairs are used. So we are using training vector pairs are used to form clusters. So here we are training vectors and concept. Okay? If dot matrix used, normalization is must. So dot matrix manam uses napudu manam m j l ante compulsory normalization ay concept vaadali. What is in by normalization? Normalization is used to reduce the redundant values. So second stage. Then what is going to be inside the second stage? So during second stage weights are adjusted between cluster units and output. Okay. So this is about the architecture of full CPN. Architecture of forward this uh, full counter propagation network. Now you see this is a diagram. You can see here x1, xi, xn are called as out uh, input values as well as y1, yk, ym are called as out star. This is also called we can say output values. Here z1, zi, zp is called as a what we call competitive values. Now you see here v11 v1p so v1j these are called as the weights associated with x1 to z1 this is called as v11 x1 to zi this is called as v1j so similarly if you see x1 to this one v1p so this is the right to write this values weights now you see here w11 so z11 is nothing but here w11 now x1 xi xn y1 yk ym these are called as inputs these are called as a output values now the architecture of full cpn are consist of this architecture consists of input layer competitive layer yes input layer competitive layer in star and out star so this part is called as in star this part is called as out star so one of the important point, instar is also called as supervised learning. Outstar is also called as, instar is also called as unsupervised learning. Outstar is also called as a supervised learning. So now you see, for each node in the input layer, there is input value xi. 
all instar grouped into a layer called competitive layer so remember all instar grouped into a layer are called as a competitive layer so all instar are grouped so we are going to ikkada instar and it ne oka group chesta dani manam competitive layer antunnam so all outstar nodes in output layer and single node in a competitive layer so this is called as instar this is called as a out star so next one forward only counter propagation so it is a simplified version of cpn simplified version of counter propagation network so now this is about the simplified version of counter propagation network so forward only counter propagation network uses only x vector to form cluster and the coefficient used units during phase or training so fcpn first input vectors are proposed to the input units first weights between input and cluster are trained then weights between cluster and output layer are trained so fcpn full counter propagation network first input vectors are presented to the input units okay so first weights between input and cluster are trained so between manaki kada input ki cluster ki madhyalo so the first weights between input and cluster are trained so input ki cluster ki madhyalo evaithe unnaye vaatini train chestundi then weights between cluster and output are trained so first weights between input and cluster weights madhyalo unna input cluster ni train chestundi adhe vidhanga cluster ni output ni kuda train chestundi so remember this point so here the architecture consists of input layer as well as cluster as well as output so this is all about the what we how counter propagation network so ee question exam lo raavachu chaala chaala important okay so thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel